Lisa here. So I haven't done a reptile video in a while. Um, I think there's a few videos on my channel of my savannah monitor and the baby dragons that I had, but I don't have any of those anymore. Um, so what happened was I had a few reptiles, I had a couple adult dragons, I had a bunch of baby dragons, and then I bought a savannah monitor lizard and I had all these reptiles. Then I got pregnant and my pregnancy was really hard. I was sick all the time. I was in another hospital and I just didn't have time or energy to look after all my reptiles. So I sold everything. I sold the monitor, which I will get another one later in life, probably, but I just I, I just didn't have the time for her. Um, I sold the monitor, I sold the dragons, I sold everything. So whatever, I had my daughter. She's going to be a year old here in a couple weeks. So I just started getting back into reptiles now that I can kind of function again. So I went to a pet store in a city about three hours away, and they're a private pet store. They're not like a big franchise like Petco or whatever. Um, I try not to buy from those kind of pet stores and support that because, well, there's a bunch of controversy as to why, but anyways, I'm not going to get into that. So I try to buy from private breeders or um, like private pet stores like this one. It's called Prairie Aquatics and Exotics. And they have saltwater fish, freshwater fish, all sorts of reptiles and amphibians, like just a ton of stuff. They're really cool and they're really, really good educational people. Um, they also do follow-ups. When you purchase an animal, they follow up to make sure that you've set up their uh, their enclosure properly, that their heat and everything is good, like they really, really make sure that everything is perfect. And if for some reason they see a problem, they come and take that animal back. So anyway, long story short, I went to this pet store, I went there to get a bearded dragon of course, because they are my favorite. But then they had some baby dragons, but I wasn't really wanting a baby dragon just because I wanted like a big dragon that I could hang out with and they didn't have any available. They had a bunch of babies, which is fine, but if I'm going to buy baby dragons, I'm going to buy from a private breeder and get special morphs and stuff. But I just wanted a pet. So I went there and I was like, okay, well, maybe I'll get a gecko or something. We looked at some crescent geckos, some gargoyle geckos, some other stuff, and leopard geckos and whatever. Um, but then I started looking at snakes, and I love snakes personally. I've never owned a... Uh, well, no, that's not true. I have owned snakes. I owned a couple ball pythons when I lived in BC. Uh, that was years ago, like 14 years ago I had those. Um... And they're really cool, but here in Saskatchewan, you can't own any kind of constricting snake. So you can't buy pythons here. So I never really got it back into snakes because I really liked pythons. Well, I saw these corn snakes that they had. And, like, corn snakes are, you know, a very common snake. But I seen this one, and she was, like, beautiful. And so I was like, oh, okay, well, I'll handle her and see what I think. Well, anyway, so I took her out. She about, was about a year and a half old, so she's probably about... January about almost two now I guess um so I took her out and I fell over there so I brought Ka home and she was my first reptile that I got after my pregnancy so anyways I have her and I have a leopard gecko um I am acquiring two dragons and a turtle this weekend so I will do another video when I get them set up uh but anyway so mm, without further ado I'm gonna take Ka out and show her to you guys all right I'll be right back Okay guys, so I'm back. It took me a minute to get uh, caught out of her tank. She can probably smell the rodents up here. So she's in feeding mode. So she was like, I thought she was going to strike me, which is kind of funny because corsets are fairly easy to handle. So anyways, this is Ka. She is beautiful. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to move this back a bit. Sorry. So I can get a better, like, full view of her for you guys. Okay. So this is Ka. Um, I don't know if the camera can focus. I can't really see if it's focusing or not, but I'll see if I can get her in view here. She's like, what is happening? Here, there's me. There we go. That's a little, well, it was good until she moved. Anyways, um, so this is Ka. She is an Imel Tessera corn, and she is beautiful. She's got like these beautiful, uh, like orange, and she's I got the stripe. There we go. She's got the stripe instead of the spots or whatever, like more normal corns, or the bands or whatever you want to call them. Anyway, so this is her, and as you can see, she's quite. Um, here, I'll focus back on her tag here. She's quite long. I haven't actually measured her, but she's got to be over three feet. Like I'm five feet, and she. 
if she would let me stretch her out. She's, yeah, so she's quite long. She's not very girthy, but I mean, corn snakes aren't really. Anyway, so that is Ka, and I love her. Like, she is so nice to handle, and like, even when she's kind of hungry and stuff, and like, she's looking at me, I'm, I'm not super worried. I guess that when they do bite, it can kind of suck, but it's obviously not like getting bit by a python or whatever. Um, again, I'm new to the snakes, so I did a bunch of research. Get back in the camera. I did a bunch of research and uh, before I got her, uh, and so far she's doing really good. Her, this is her setup back here. It's not anything like it's all fake plants. Like I think it looks pretty cool, like that. This here is a buffalo hip bone, which I thought was kind of a neat thing to put in there. Um, but yeah. Anyway, so that is Ka. I really want to see if she'll like if I can get her focus. If she would calm down, that'd be great. Usually they're pretty. She's pretty docile and chill, but. Today she's just all about not. Come on. God damn. Sorry guys, I'm trying here, but my camera's like not wanting to focus. Anyway, that's about as good as you're probably gonna get of her, cause yeah. So you can see her bands there. Hey. Get off there, she's wrapping around my camera now. Hey. Hey. Anyway, yeah, so that is Ka. Oh, there you go, now you can kind of see her head. <laughs> so I'm gonna put her in and then we'll do a quick uh, feeding video. So I'll be back again. Okay guys, so I'm gonna feed Ka. I already fed her one uh, mouse.